how to create an online store on Equid. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Equid to create your very own online store. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So over here, I'm on Equid.com and this is the website right here. So Equid is a pretty amazing tool where you can create your own store and start drop shipping your own products from different websites to different locations. So let's get started. So just simply click on get started for free. You can sign up and there is a pricing plan however but you can go ahead and use it for free as much as you want and if you like it then you can go ahead and use a pricing plan so we're just simply going to go ahead and click on get started for free for now and just sign in and sign up onto our account so i've already created an account and i'm just simply signed in and this is how it looks like right so once you've signed up you're gonna be on this dashboard right here on this home screen where you just have this checklist that you have to complete in order to complete your website so step one was to create an account we've done that second step is to set up your website and storefront third step is to add your product or services and then review regional settings choose how to deliver your goods and set up your payment options so for now let's go ahead and set up our website and storefront so you can either click over here or just come over here onto the right side and underneath sales channels you will see you will have your website option just simply go over there and quickly click on design and design your website so over here this is going to be your website over here if you click on this website right here we can go ahead and view it online so this is how it looks like right pretty simple nothing too crazy about it you can edit this site by clicking on this button and you can change the site's appearance by clicking over here and site content by clicking over here and then you can add your site address like your you know domain name over there you have your seos and then you have your add your store to other sites option over here so what we're going to do is we're simply going to click on site appearance and see how it looks like over here and over here you will have your themes you will have your site settings so if you click on themes we can go ahead and choose the theme where we want right so we have a bunch of different themes to choose from it all depends on you and what type of website you're trying to create so if it's an online store you can go ahead and choose an online store theme as well so over here you have your apparel shoes and accessories so if we click over here these are all the themes that are you know available for that category then we have health and beauty services electronics and computers foods and all of that so for now we just want the apparels so we're going to choose a theme that is you know that looks good with that you know our category so i think this looks good you know it's called wearable so let's go ahead and use this theme right here and this is how it looks like so you have your theme over here then you have your products and this is a product that i added earlier and i'm going to show you how you can do that as well and then down below you have your about us section and the location and testimonials as well so i think this looks pretty good so next what we can do is we can go ahead and start adding it out so over here we have headline and cover image so if you click over here we can choose the headline and cover image we can choose the cover layout and the image itself as well so over here if we go with the fill screen this is how it's going to look like if we go with the right side over here left side is going to be like this half screen is going to look like this half screen and half text below and then we have the top menu over here so i think that on the uh, right side it looks pretty cool so we're going to go with that then we have the image and then we have the store logo and scroll menu and top menu and typography so for now we're going to go with that one we're just going to leave it at that we're not going to go into a lot so you can even change these buttons so they're called in roll in you can change it to buy or whatever you want and you'll be good to go so then just simply click on save and you are good to go so then it's going to be saved then you can go back and go with this click on store and you can over edit this store out so you have your medium you have your large icon small icon large and medium so we're going to choose with the medium and then you have your text alignment either center left right or justify i feel like if we go with the justify this is how it's going to look like more compact but if we go with the left this is how it's going to look like but uh, if we go with the center it's a bit more you know open and easy to read so we're going to go with that then you have your product list and category product page and other things so overall you understand what you're going to need to do right like pretty simple nothing too crazy about it and once you have saved your store you can just simply go ahead and go back to your dashboard and start adding different products into that store so over here i'm on back on the dashboard and over here i'm going to show you how you can you know go ahead and complete add different products and all of that but before we do that let me just you know finish this up real quick um so yeah i think it looks good then we can add different product and services so over here if we click over here this is a product right so if you're wondering how i added this product well it's pretty simple I added a plugin called sup and with that 
it's a drop shipping plugin with that we have you know added this product so if you come over here onto the apps over here just simply go over here onto the app market and over here you're just simply gonna go ahead and search for drop shipping and you also have a category for that as well so if you click on drop shipping then these are all the stores and all the plugins that are available for you to use so i'm using this one called sub drop shipping which is pretty cool so you just simply click on it and just simply install it as you can see over here there will be an install button for you but i've already added that so if you click on open app it's going to open up the application in another tab and with it we can go ahead and starting importing other you know products from other stores such as aliexpress into our store so over here come over here onto the left side and click on find product and over here at the bottom you will see imported products simply click over here and you can start importing different products so i've already imported this one so let me go ahead and find another product for you so i'm going to open up aliexpress in another tab over here and then over here i'm going to simply going to go ahead and find the product that we're looking for so i've already added the mask let's go ahead and add some you know some trousers and you know hoodies and stuff like that all right so over here as you can see these are some of the top products that are selling right now and they all look pretty fancy and really cool click on the jacket and open it up in another tab and as you can see the product is going around for 17 dollars right uh maximum is going to be 26 but right now there's a discount so we need this product right so let's just click over here on the link and just copy the link and then go back to the plugin the sub plugin and over here we're just simply going to paste the link and then we're just simply going to click on import product then it's going to load up wait for a couple of seconds it's going to find the product and import it into this application right here and over here as you can see this is how it looks like so then all you have to do is just list it to your store click on list and then you will be able to list it so over here they're going to ship from the chinese warehouse and you can add it to your online store over here and then boom here we go so over here is going to be all of the products with different variations and different you know sizes and over here is going to be the inventory and the total price that you want right so over here we say all where you know all products we enter in our price and we are good to go so currently it's selling for 26 dollars we can sell it for maybe 36 or maybe even 40 dollars as well so we'll enter in 40 we even have the shipping team and price calculation over here if we ship from china to let's say you want to ship it to let's say united states then if i scroll down over here let me find it over here and then attributes is gonna be over here you can say like ordinary nothing too much the weight is gonna be who let's say maybe one weight is in grams so how many grams are there in a kilo so a thousand grams right let's say it's a thousand grams and then the shipping method can be all so we'll just simply click on calculate and it's going to give us the of shipping that's going to cost so it's going to roughly cost us at the maximum some are saying you know 20 dollars so we're here we have different shipping rates for different you know category so since it's not electronic it's like clothing so which are like ordinary we can go ahead and mark it up for like 10 to 20 dollars which i think i have added to that and then we can go ahead and do it so 40 dollars for each of the products and then we can adjust the images the product name as well and the description of it as well and then just simply click on list and then it's going to automatically list that item into our equid store as well so i'll give it a few seconds and we'll be good to go all right so as you can see listed successfully so if you click on view it on store it's going to take us over out here onto our store and we can view the product so over here as you can see this is how it looks like right pretty simple 40 dollars nothing too crazy about that so pretty much that's it that's how you you know set up your store and that's how you add your products into your store as well so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye